summary of Dark They Were, and Golden Eyed by Ray Bradbury. Harry Bittering and his family leave Earth to join a new colony on Mars. When they get there, though, in a rocket ship, Harry knows right away that something is wrong with the Martian environment and that it is already slowly changing his family. Even though they keep going into town and making the new settlement a nice place to live, Harry can't get rid of the thought that something is wrong. Even his children feel uneasy about the world and the old Martian settlements that have been abandoned for a long time. After a few weeks, they hear that Earth is in the middle of a nuclear war and that no more rockets will come from there. This means that the new people are stuck on Mars. Even though this news upsets Harry, the others quickly come to terms with their position and get used to living on Mars. A few days later, Harry sees that the colors, smells, and tastes of the plants and animals they brought from Earth have changed. Even more upsetting, the residents' bodies are changing. They are getting taller, darker skin, and golden eyes, which are better for living on Mars. Harry is shocked, but the other newcomers don't seem to care as much. Harry is determined to start building a rocket to get back to Earth, but no one else is willing to help him. Cora finally gets him to go on a picnic and swim, and over time, he starts to feel less afraid of the changes he and his family have gone through. They look at Martian villas in the mountains and think about how nice and well-suited to the climate they are. When he and his family finally go back to town, Harry loses interest in his rocket project and doesn't care as much about it as he used to. Harry sees other settlers packing up, and he finds out that they are going up to the Martian villas for the summer. His family convinces him that they should move, too. When they do, they leave most of their things behind. Like the rest of the settlers, Harry's family has slowly forgotten everything about where they came from. Now, they don't even remember that they are from Earth. Instead, they live happily in the mountain villas and don't go back to the town that has been abandoned. Harry and Cora think about the ridiculous houses of the ugly Earth people, who they're glad are gone. After five years, people from Earth show up and say they've won the war. They are surprised to find that the town has been left empty, and they think that the old settlers, who have forgotten where they came from, are native Martians. One of the men, a captain, is making plans to rebuild and grow the village by bringing in new people from Earth, but his lieutenant doesn't seem to be paying attention. Instead, he is staring into the misty hills of Mars. About the author in the second half of the 20th century, Ray Bradbury was a well-known author of science fiction and fantasy. Bradbury is probably best known for his dystopian novel Fahrenheit 451, in which books are burned and information is tightly controlled. He also wrote a lot of short stories, essays, and scripts for films and TV. Bradbury was first inspired by classic works of science fiction and horror, as well as stories in magazines like Amazing Science Fiction. But he soon found his own style, and many people say that he brought literary science fiction into the mainstream. Bradbury was a very busy writer who wrote several novels, hundreds of short stories, and other works. He also made it a habit to write every day. He won a lot of awards and honors, like the National Medal of Arts and the World Fantasy Award for Life Achievement. Hope we summarized it fully and you liked it. Please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel so that we are motivated to create more videos.